Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, exciting times, we've now got pack 3 of Agora models, build your own Shelby Super Snake. Now we're two packs into this, and if you check out here, I've laid it all out, as a matter of fact I've done a picture uh, to show you everything we've built at the moment. Now this pack is going to take us from stage 15 to stage 22, and we're going to be doing things like the rear main chassis, the rear floor plan, the rear axle differential housing covers, um, oh, we're doing loads, left leaf spring, right leaf spring, uh, we're actually just working sort of like on the underside of the vehicle. Uh, I have opened the box, but as you see, I haven't taken anything out of it yet so uh, this is how it's packed when you get it nice and neat so nothing's going to get damaged now if you want to get this for yourself i've put the link for agora models just down there you can go over to their website and you can collect this right from pack one there is also some other models on there you'll notice that the terminator t 800s on there and you can order that for agora models as well they send worldwide so if you're in a country that's not listed there just get in touch with agora models and uh, they will be able to sort that out for you but uh, i can't wait to get cracking on this so let's see what we got in the box so we're going to try and lay these out best we can. We've got 21, which looks like a housing there for the wheel. We've got 19, 18, <laughs> 17, uh, 22. Look, I'm not putting these in any order at the moment. 20. Uh, oh, God, these bits are really heavy. And look at those. These are metal. So this is part of the chassis as well. So we've got 15 and we've got... 16 there as well so what i'm going to do is i'll put all of this on the floor and we're going to keep hold of number 15 because that's where we're going to start so we get this one open first I've got me uh all you're going to really need is a screwdriver and just a blade to open the boxes on this one uh, we've got some screws here these are md06 screws so i'll cut them open And let's just have a look at this uh, rear chassis here. As I said, it's metal, it's heavy. Look at that, the paintwork is immaculate. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. Now what we're gonna need to do is bring over the part of the chassis and the fuel tank that we worked on last time looking just like that. Now quite simply holding it this way, you've got some lugs just here, which are gonna be accepting some screws, but this is just gonna fit on top just like that. You see that, it actually just like wanted to put itself in on its own there uh, and we're going to secure these in with some of those screws which are set of the md06 screws now there's four of these to put into place and they just go into these holes right here now the reason i'm using my uh let's just put that up a bit now the reason i'm using my pink mat here is obviously this is all black and i want it to show up really good on all the cameras that i've got on here now we're putting into metal so to aid me putting this in i've just got some three and one oil here just on my uh little pin vise and I'm just going to drop that into some of these screw holes here just to help me out getting these screws in. Now, I don't know if this is needed or not, but when I'm putting metal into metal, I do like to do this because to me, it just makes uh, it feel like the screws are going in a lot easier, as you can see there. So make these nice and tight. So that's two. Number three over here. And the last one, just over the other side. We have got one spare screw in there. Just get that in. Nice and tight. And there we go. That is what that bottom plate there is looking like. Now, just for a second, I'm going to put that to one side because we're going to take out stage 16. <laughs> Now stage 16 looks like this. This is the rear floor pan. And once again, we've got the part and we've got some screws. Now this is plastic. So we've got two lots of screws. We've got MPO ones and we've also got MD06. So bringing this back over, this floor plan is just gonna go onto this gap just over here. And as you can see, we've got the three lugs here are gonna be fitting over these three lugs just on the top there. So we can put that in just like that. It sits absolutely perfectly on there. And the screws we're going to attach this to are the MD06 ones. So I'll just get them out. Now we need three of these to start off with. And they're going to be going into these three holes here, here, and here. That's the first one in. I am going to, again, just drop some oil just into these holes. Just to lube 
rotate these screws up a bit more. Here's the second one. Nice and tight. And then the third one over this side. Can you believe how quick we've built this uh, chassis here? <laughs> That's just actually just grown while I've been watching it. But uh, as you can see, that looks amazing. Now we've only connected it at this side at the moment. We've just got connected by these two holes here and here. I am just gonna drop a little bit more oil just into those sections before I put them in. And we've got two screws to put in there. Once again, these are just the MD-06 ones. These ones take a little bit more screwing, but they go in absolutely perfectly. And this one over here. There we go, now this is secured from here and from these points here, as you can see, that is rigid, not going anywhere. Then we're gonna be putting some more screws in just here and here, once again. Just putting a bit of uh, wheel just in here to help drive these screws home. Another technique when you're putting these screws in is to put them in a little bit of the way, just like this till they start cutting. Bring them back out again to make sure there's no shavings or anything of the metal on and then screw them back down again. So if you are having problems getting screws in, definitely Use the oil technique and use that technique of just screwing down a little way, just like that, backing off and then putting them all the way in. And then the last two screws are just going to be going into here and here. Once again, a bit of oil around there, a bit of oil on that side and we get these last two screws in. And when it's completed, it should look just like that. We can put that to one side because in the next stage, stage 17, we're gonna be working on the lower rear axle. And that looks just like this here. Let's cut that open and see what we've got. We've got a few little parts here. Uh, these are plastic, but they look amazing. Look at that. And then we've got differential housing, I'm guessing that is there. And then we've got the MP O3 screws. So I'm just going to open these screws, these MPO 3s Then the first thing we want to do, as you can see here, we've got two screw holes in the housing like that. We want to put two of these screws in, the MPO 3s So that's one in there like that. Let's do the second one. Here's the second one here. Just like that. As you can see, I haven't put them in all the way, but they're looking just like that. And this is basically going to be fitting just into these two lug holes that you can see there and there. And it's going to just fit sort of like that in there. There you go. And then when this is eventually going to go in, this is just going to slot into these holes just like that there. But uh, that part is done in the next stage. So we bring up stage 18 here. We'll get that cut open get all the goodies out here. We've got quite a few little pieces here. We've got some springs. Always good to have springs, keep these safe. Don't wanna be uh, put them under too much pressure or they'll ping over your uh, your workspace. So we've got two of those. We've got MP01 screw, and we've also got some more MP04 screws. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the part from last time and we're gonna be putting this part here just over the top. Now you see you've got these two holes just there. They're gonna go on top of the screws that we had on the other side. So this will now completely match that differential there. Now if you've got a woggle in here, just like I have, it just means you need to tighten these screws up. So I'm gonna make sure that they're tight now. One, two, put them back in, just like that. And then we can put this part over the top. And as you can see, that's now secured. Now we need the MP01 screw. So I'm gonna try and do this all in one go without taking my hands off the detail here because these screws here are gonna go into the four holes that you can see, one, two, three, four, to keep all of this together. So here's the first one. 
think I'm just going to put them in lightly for the minute before I uh, actually tighten them up completely. Put the second one in over here. Just enough to hold them in place. Here's the third one. Just like that. And here's the fourth one. Now before I tighten it up, just make sure that these sections here, which those are springs are gonna go on, is the opposite direction to the T here, pointing that way around. So this is the orientation of that housing there. Let's get these tightened up. And there we go, they're all tight, and that's what the axle is gonna look like. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting the uh, springs over the top here. One, two, just like that. And then we're going to be bringing over the chassis with a fuel tank then and we're going to be starting to attach this what it might be worth doing and they do recommend it actually which i think i'm going to do is just put a little bit of masking tape just over the springs here to keep them in place now we want to bring the chassis part back over so we can turn it over so it's looking just like that and be very careful because remember you've got a pipe coming out of this side here and this differential part here is actually just going to go into these two holes here so that then the housing part here will be pointing down here going towards the gearbox. So that's gonna go in just kind of like that. We need to secure this in from the other side and we're gonna be using two MP04 screws for that. Now I've loaded the screw up. You just know this is gonna be a little bit fiddly. So I'm gonna turn it upside down and where these screw holes are, which are here and here, we're gonna be putting the MP40 screw in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit in just like that. I'm not going too far on it. Going to do the same on the other side here. Not going to screw it in completely. I just want to make sure that it's in where I want it. Once I'm happy it's tight, we will tighten both of these screws up. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that all of this is perfectly straight at 90 degrees. That's that one. And that's that one. And that is looking absolutely perfect. Now I can take this masking tape off now. <laughs> I'm so impressed with that. Check that out. That's looking absolutely brilliant. Once again, I'll put that to one side because in stage 19, we're gonna be working on the left rear wheel housing liner. So once again, we'll cut that open. All that knife sharp. Uh, in this, we've got the housing looking just like that and we've got MD06 screws. So once again, we're gonna turn this upside down just like that. And because this is the left one, this is gonna be going over this section just here. Basically, as you see, you've got these holes here. They're gonna fit over the lugs here, here and here. So when you put it in, it's gonna look just like that. It's gonna be secured in with three screws there and they're the MD06 screws that come in this. This is a... Uh, nice quick stage this one but can you believe how quick this is building up <laughs> i am just going to drop some oil just into the holes i'm going to be putting these in just take this screw out i'll do the same for this one as well just to give it a little bit of lubrication when i put it in as a matter of fact it's probably better to put the center screw in first so that's what i'm going to do and then we work on the other two screws here. Just remembering to do the same technique of putting the screw in, letting it bite, then take it out, blow away any shavings and then put it in and drive it home. And when that's in, nice and tight, probably better on the side camera, looking just like that once again we're going to put that to one side because in stage 20 we're going to be working on the left leaf spring this is what the leaf spring looks like here so we'll get this open lots of little parts on this one so i'm going to have to open a couple of bags here because we've got some pins to put in looking just like that and we've got two lots of screws in this one mp01 and mp05 the leaf spring is metal, but you don't want to be going to bend that. So it looks just like that. And what we're going to want to do is hold the leaf spring this way round 
where actually uh, has more notches just at the end compared to the other end here. And we want this detail that looks just like that. It's very similar to the one we've got here. You don't want this one, you want this one here. And then what this is gonna do, is gonna basically hold in place just on that. And to do that, we're gonna need to put one of these pins through. So quite simply, as you can see on the pin, we've got a rough side and a smooth side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive this pin in here first. We need to drive it in through the point there that's just got a little notch out of it. So that's where it's gonna start. See, so that's gonna go in like that. But what we wanna do is holding it in our hand like that, offer the leaf spring up, make sure it goes all the way through the hole there. We want it to come out the other side. Then we need to push this into place. And that's what I'm gonna use my duck build pliers for. And that's gonna push that all the way through. Make sure it's completely through. There you go. And as you can see, that's that section on just like that. We're gonna to wanna to do the same thing at the other side. So holding this like this, we wanna offer this section up. It's gonna go on just like that. This is what the uh, part looks like. That's gonna go on just like that. So once again, we're gonna be putting a pin just through this side here, just like that. Make sure it goes through the axle. It's gonna be lining up with the other side here, just like that. And then we're gonna push this home with my duck bill pliers. just like that then we're going to bring over the chassis again turn it upside down and this is going to be going just above the arch that we created there into these two square sections here so this is going to fit in one like this just like that the other side in this side just like that we're going to secure this down with some mp01 screws now we only need two of these screws so i'm going to hold this detail in place here it's gonna go just into that section there. So let's put that one in first. Make it nice and tight. That one's in. And then the second one is gonna go into this point just at the end here. And there we go. That is the first leaf spring in, as you can see, nice and secure. Then we're gonna be putting the spring plate just over the top. This spring plate is metal and we've got two larger holes here. They're just gonna go the larger ones over the lugs. So that looks just like that. We're gonna secure this down with some MP05 screws. So we get these open and I'm gonna put them in very gently, one on this side. One on this side here and then tighten them up completely. There we go, nice and tight. That's the leaf spring completed. So we get that out and exactly like we did for the left one, we've got some MD06 screws here. We're just gonna bring that across like this turn it over because this time we're going to be working just on this section here we're going to line this up exactly where it goes just like last time making sure that they fit completely over the lugs like that i'm going to drop some oil just into each of these holes two three and then we're going to secure this down with the md06 screws so I'll put the center one in first, just like I did with the left one. I'm not gonna put it in hard, I'm just gonna put it in enough to turn the thread there. And then we'll do the same with the other side. One this side. I'm actually just gonna support this with my hand underneath because I don't want to break any of the details underneath. Make that nice and tight. And then just tighten the middle one up. There you go, nice and secure. That's looking just like that. Again, I'll show you on that camera so you can see everything we've done so far. That looks so impressive. So now that's completed, we're on the last stage, stage 22. <laughs> 
And as you probably guessed, stage 22 is the right hand leaf spring. And this is gonna be done exactly the same way as what we've done. Oh, let's just make sure everything's out of there. And then just like last time, we take this uh, detail here, the one with a little notch just out the side, that's gonna be going into this side of the leaf spring, not that side. So once again, I'm gonna do exactly like we did last time, offering it up to this with the smooth end through the leaf spring, out the other side here, and I'm gonna push that home with my duckbill pliers. And there you go, that's the first one in. Do the same on the other side. Again, we're gonna orientate it this way with this section here facing this side of the leaf spring. So it's gonna go on kind of like that. And once again, I'm gonna offer the pin up. I find it easier actually just to put it through there first, then offer the leaf spring up to thread it through the whole of the leaf spring, just like that. Then I can line it up to where it needs to be. Once again, oops, a bit more off there, use my duckbill pliers to push that into place. Just like that. As you can see, that section's in. The pin's nice and flat. So now we're ready to put this underneath the vehicle, bringing the vehicle over. So just like last time, make sure you put it in the right way. They can only go in one way because these points here don't fit the same holes. So this will go in just like this here. Just like that on that side. Let's get this side in. And just like that on that side. Once again, we need to secure these underneath. And we're gonna use two of the MP01 screws for that. Holding it with my hand this side. Bring it over. Once again, I'm only putting it in enough just to keep it in place for a second. Not gonna over tighten it. Put the other MP01 in the other side here. which is just this hole here. And then tighten them completely up. That's one in. Tighten this one up. That's the second one. And then once that leaf springs in, once again, we're just gonna be putting the plate over the top, just like last time, just like that. And that's gonna be held in with the MP05 screws. Again, I'm not putting them in all the way, just enough to keep that in place till I've got both screws in. Then I'm gonna support the axle from underneath and drive these screws home. Just like that. And that is that pack completed. So it looks like that from that side. I'll flip it over, look in that from that side. And again, on the side camera here, because you get a lot more impact in that, that's looking like that. Turn it over, look at those leaf springs. They really pop with that, don't they? And there we go. Everything nice and secured in place. And that is looking absolutely perfect. The detail on this is amazing. I can tell you now that's got a lot of weight to it, but uh, you'll have to tell me what you think in the comments because I'm really impressed with that. So all together up to pack three, we've done all of this section here. We've obviously done both doors. There's the first one and there's the second door. It's gonna put those to one side, obviously with all the details on the other side here. Uh, we've done both the seats. So we've got these two seats here, which again, enable you to move them up and down. And then finally, we completed the front of the vehicle looking just like that from that side and that from that side. What an enjoyable build that is. I've got a big smile on my face. We've been filming this for, I don't know, about 50 minutes. So I don't know what this is gonna be when I edit it down, uh, but that was a really, really good build. If you wanna get this yourself, head on over to the Agora Models website there, agoramodels.com. Check out all the models that they're doing at the moment. And as I said, they do post this worldwide. So if you wanna get yourself this build that I'm doing now and get yourself this smile that I'm wearing now, then head on over there now. Anyway, listen, I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, Please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.